So I decided to vlog this weekend because I'm going back to school like early next week. Even though my classes don't start for another week, I wanna get settled in and stuff. So I thought I would vlog my last weekend in Rochester because I've got like some really fun stuff that I'm gonna be doing. Right now, I'm just chilling. I ate some leftover frozen pizza that I made yesterday for lunch and I'm drinking some water, some coffee. I watched a YouTube video and now I'm gonna take a practice LSAT because I signed up for the LSAT yesterday, which feels super weird and adulty. So time to take a practice test so I'll see you in an hour. I just finished taking my first LSAT practice exam. It was something all right. It's been a really long time since I took an actual like sit down test that involves like any sort of logical reasoning or anything because I'm an English major most of my final examination things are papers so this felt really really weird to be sitting down and taking a test. Also Margot got really feisty during the last section she wanted to play. Huh? So this is what I was dealing with during the last logical reasoning section. So we're out here, kids, but I got a 156, which is pretty good, I think. Hello there, so and I'm gonna do some yoga now. Me and my family are going to this thing tonight that I'm like super excited for, but it's this like David Bowie tribute special thing at the local art gallery. David Bowie, fun fact, was arrested in Rochester, so that mugshot that you saw like everywhere after he died was in my home city. Yeah, we really, we're known for good things. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm really excited to go to that. So I'm just going to do some yoga and then take a shower and get ready for that. I have no idea what I'm gonna wear yet because I don't know if I should dress crazy or not. So yeah, and while I was going to the bathroom, Marco just came and hopped up on my bed, huh? She doesn't like that my breath spells minty. Also, she's staring out my windows to try to protect. Oh, you have a butt, you have a book. Now we got that golden hour light going. Look at this fucking model. My niece is a model. Wow. Marco, this way. Come on! There you go, good girl. Oh, there you are peeing. There's a beautiful sunset. There's my little pee. It is 15 degrees out. I'm freezing my ass off. But you know, we're out here doing it for my, my niece. Good morning. The concept of getting out of bed right now is because uh, um, me and my mom are going to this like rock girl gang panel thing. It's a 9 30 downtown, so we have to leave here at like 9 ish. I'm so not a morning person, ew. sophomore year we recorded this like ridiculous lip sync to the song what the hell by Avril Lavigne so I was thinking that we could do a video where we like recreate that except with a new song we're gonna do Buggy Feet by Kesha um so that'll be up in a few weeks and I'm really excited so I'm just going to her house to record it right now I have some like ridiculous clothes I have a bunch of makeup and yeah I have like my real camera we're gonna have a good old time I'm very excited about it this is like literally the last time I'll see them before I go to school so yeah Hey. Squat, 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 squat. I have a dog. It's not yours. <laughs> yeah, but, I, but <laughs> at this current that? time, I Lacey, have it. Lacey, who's that? It's you. It's you. <laughs> oh, my God. Who's, who's that? that? <gasps> who's that? <laughs> oh. Who's that? 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 Who's that?
Oh, she got a zoom? Got a zoom? Nope. Beyonce. Nope. Margo, all on the counter, all that you see, all that the light touches, is stuff that you cannot have. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, oh, pepperoni down. some uh, fake tea lights going because I do crazy Saturday night up in this because my phone was out of memory and I kept forgetting to load my stuff to my computer so I could delete it off my phone. But I've just been like packing all day. I decided I'm gonna leave Tuesday instead of Monday because I have a lot of like stuff that I just need to like finish up. Like I didn't start packing until today and I sprawled while I was home so I have a bunch of stuff to clean up. Me and my mom are gonna go to our favorite wine place in a little bit. So I've got this cute little Everlane sweater on. Everlane jeans on. <laughs> from drinking wine at Living Root. So naturally I've got um, more wine to drink at home. This is some nice little Prosecco. That was really nice to hang out with my mom and go get some wine. We're gonna have dinner and stuff. I'm really glad that I'm not going home tonight because I have so many things to do before I leave. A bunch of cleaning to do and like sorting through clothes that I don't want anymore to see if I wanna like sell them or donate them or what. So we're out here kids, we really are. Good morning. So I'm just making some coffee right now. I made literally the same exact breakfast as yesterday, so I decided not to film it. But here is my nice little egg on avo toast. I thought I'd vlog today because I fell asleep at like 9 p.m. last night, so I didn't get any like goodbye Rochester thing. So this just felt better. Today I'm basically just gonna be cleaning and packing like all day, so a lot of like time lapses and shit. Here we go, kids. Hello, so I finished sorting through all of my craft stuff. So I'm definitely gonna be doing a lot of like DIY kind of stuff this semester, which I'm really excited about. I've been watching the Sorry Girls for the last like week. So I'm ready to DIY. I'm gonna run to Target because I have to return something that I bought. And yeah, then I'll return to do some more packing. Exciting stuff out here. Ooh, actually I'm gonna run to Wegmans also and get some sushi because Wegmans, I'm gonna miss you. What's up kids? It's me, literally the worst. So I went into Wegmans to buy some food because I was like, oh, this is cute. Last day at home, I'm gonna get some Wegmans. Gonna have a good old time. Nope, I'm a fucking idiot. So as I was going to buy an avocado roll, I like had all of my stuff balanced because I was like, don't want to get a cart. That would be stupid because I'm just getting food. And I was like, oh, I'll get some sushi for like breakfast tomorrow or I can bring it with me and like eat it for lunch, whatever. So I'm carrying it over the cash register and I kind of lose balance of it and I thought I caught it and the one that was off balance I caught and then I dropped the avocado roll all over the fucking ground and like Wegmans is actually the best so I'm like I put all my stuff down on the counter because I was I was literally less than a foot away from the register mind you so I was so close to being good but no no I put all this stuff on the counter and go to like clean it up and someone comes up and it's just like oh here just hand it to me ma'am and I was like ugh and then they just like got me another one I didn't have to pay for it or anything I feel like I said that weird what I meant is I didn't have to pay for the one that I dropped on the ground which I feel like most places would make you do like you break it you buy it mentality anyways I love Wegmans if you don't know what it is you're losing out literally so nice um I love Wegmans this is just a Wegmans commercial 
Bye. So I'm about to eat lunch, but um, we got a package for Amazon and my mom told me it was Margo's toy, so I opened it. And look at this little, it's got like squirrels on the inside, which is great because Margo loves to kill things or what if she had the chance, we don't really let her. But she loves like squeaky animal toys. They're her favorite because she likes to pretend like she's ripping them apart. She's really a sweet dog. She's gonna lose her mind. We stopped dog sitting on Saturday, which made me really sad because I miss Margo and my brother's busy tonight, so we can't see her, but I wanna see her play with this so bad. Like she's gonna lose it. Oh my God. Alright, so I'm sitting on the floor of my bathroom right now, so glamorous, and I need to clean out these cupboards, which I have not cleaned out since I was probably like 12, so there's going to be a lot of crap up in here that I need to deal with, so this is one of the reasons why I stayed an extra day, because my dad was like, um, I asked you to do this when you first got home, and I was still in finals brain, so I forgot. So, here we go. probably a very long time lapse and I'm not done yet. I still have all of this. This is the stuff that I'm not throwing out that I'm keeping for one reason or another. So I have to go through and figure out what I want to bring to school with me and what I'm just going to leave here. But I cleaned out these three bins and then this one like thing. So I think I'm gonna like leave some of them here and then bring some with me because Honestly, I found a bunch of toiletries that I didn't even know I had, which means that when I come home, I don't have to bring stuff, which is super nice. Cause then all I have to bring is like stuff to do my skin and my teeth, which is nice. That sounds really weird. The way I phrased that was odd, but yeah. It's like two o'clock in the afternoon. I'm perhaps spiraling a bit with this cleaning and leaving feels weird. I'm honestly very impressed with my packing right now. These are little craft boxes. Back there, you can't really see them, but this blue top, there's two of them stacked on top of each other's clothes. I got this rolling cart. Got some stuff that's gonna go in my kitchen. Stuff that's for the kitchen, but I'm gonna keep in my room so that no one breaks it. This little box with like leather, letter writing supplies in it. Some LaCroix. I'm sure I'll put one of those in my fridge so I can drink it tomorrow, but that's about, I wanna say that's two thirds of what I need to pack, so that's good. Cause I've still got the whole back seat of my car, which is really messy. Hey, what's up? And the whole front seat, which is also super messy, so. What I'm seeing is that I'm probably gonna need to clean out my car before I finish packing, but you know, that would be a good choice and I don't make those often, so. I legitimately have a problem because this is like almost entirely sweaters. Like this is a button up shirt, this is a dress, this is a button up shirt, and this is a blazer. And the rest of this entire laundry basket is like just sweaters. I love sweaters, can you tell? There's also two more sweaters over here. I don't know, there's one here and one here. I don't know which one I'm going to wear tomorrow with this shirt, so. I love sweaters so much. I'm feeling like a little bit sad right now. Every time that I go back to school, I feel sad that I'm leaving home and like that I'm not gonna see my family for like a month or whatever. Like this time it's only a month, usually it's longer. I don't know, it just feels weird going back, especially since I like wanna live in Rochester like full time one day, but I don't know how much school I'm gonna go to. So it's like, I don't know when I'm gonna live here, but it just feels weird every time I leave. I'm excited to be back at school because I wanna see all my friends obviously and like it's my last semester, so I'm really excited. It just feels like weird to be leaving again, especially since this is the longest that I've been home since last year because I didn't stay here in the summer. The longest I was home in the summer was like four or five days at a time. So I think I was home for like two weeks in May, but that's not even like a long time whatsoever. So the fact that I'm already going back to school feels weird because I feel like I just got settled in here and I'm kind of sad about it. Hello there, so um, I got a new phone. I don't know how different the quality is at this point in time because I haven't edited this yet, obviously, but I didn't really vlog much of tonight because I was just hanging out with my mom watching like a movie. I'm really sad to go back. But I'm learning right now, really finally learning. I said as much as I love minimalist style, I will literally never be a minimalist. This is my pile of stuff that I have to pack in my car in the morning. And my car is already full, just... For reference like she is v full already so i just love clothes so much dresses are so good oh. hello so today's the day i'm driving back to new paul's i'm just finishing up packing I'm gonna eat some breakfast and then i'll be on my way <laughs> the last thing i pack is always all my little plant babies in this fucker this is hamlet my fish 
He's a dick and he never wants to get into his cage, so I gave him a bunch of food so he'd be happy. Still unhappy though. You're a dick, Hamlet. Hello there. So I'm all packed up. I just got gas and now I'm on my way out of town. So I guess this is as good a time as any to end the vlog since it's the end of my trip at home. Every time I leave home, it gets like a little bit harder because I've gotten a lot closer with my family as of late and it just feels sadder when I leave. If that makes sense, I hope it makes sense. I hope you love your family too. It was a really great trip home. I'm really glad that I was able to stay home for as long as I did, even though it sucks and I have to get a job now since I didn't get scheduled for work. Honestly, I'm really glad that I just had time to like relax and decompress because last semester was really stressful and like my grandpa died and it was just a really long, hard haul, I guess I would say. So I'm really glad that I had this time to really decompress and like to spend time with my friends and family. I think this was a good break. I don't really want to go back to school. I kind of just want the semester to be over, but also it's my last semester. So like I need to enjoy it because after this, like all of my friends are never going to be living in the same place ever again, which is also like hard to think about. So I just like, I know I need to not take anything for granted, but it's really hard when there's going to be things that are difficult. So. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can see how my semester goes. It's like the worst. Okay, that was so bad. I'm so sorry. I'm using humor to off play negative emotions. Am I right, kids? If you made it to this point in the video, comment down below something that you're excited for for the upcoming semester. I'm really excited for my internship. I think it's gonna be really great and I love my professor that I'm doing it with. So uh, comment that down below and I'll see you guys next video. Bye.